it's like a novel, like so many <laughs> ups and downs and turns that you don't expect. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and feel free to ask us any questions you may have down in the comments below. Also, be sure to visit us at streetfrench.org for more resources to help you learn French. Hi everyone. So today I'm going to do a new type of video and I'm going to talk about the French presidential elections. So I'm going to do a little report. I'm going to tell you who are the main candidates, uh, what's going on, some surprises, some controversial stories. Okay, let's go. A little disclaimer first, I want to say that of course I'm not a journalist, I'm not a specialist in politics. Uh, this video is not my personal point of view at all. But if I make any mistakes um, and there's a French person watching maybe, feel free to correct me in the comments and start a conversation. Like, Okay, so let's first start with the big surprise. François Hollande, our current president and a Democrat, at the end of December, he, he did a speech saying he would not run for office again. So now the Democratic Party has to choose a new candidate. So that's what we call les primaires. Les primaires. So it happens a few months before the presidential election. Each party, the Democratic and the Republican Party, has to choose the candidate who will represent the party. So let me explain how the presidential election works in France. So you have all the candidates, you go vote once, and then um, there's a second round with the two most popular ones where we go and vote another time. It's like two weeks later, I think, and you choose who you want for a president. Uh, there are so many stories and so many things people are talking about. So, and there are a lot of surprises actually. So during these presidential elections, François Hollande uh, decided not to run for office. People thought that on the right-wing party, Sarko Nicolas Sarkozy would win because he was, you know, the previous he was a uh, president before François Hollande, but he lost. People thought that Emmanuel Valls, who is who was the prime minister of François Hollande, that he would win and he would represent the left-wing party, but he lost too. And then the, the thing of, about François Fillon, who is under investigation for uh, paying her, his wife to do a fake job, and the, the rise of the extreme parties with Jean-Luc Mélenchon and Marine Le Pen is a total surprise, and they're more popular than ever before. And the last surprise is uh, Emmanuel Macron being so popular. He is only 39 years old. He has been in politics for only three years. And before that, he worked for uh, four years in the bank of Rothschild. And some people think that he would go to the second round with Marine Le Pen. So everything is just like, it's like a novel, like so many <laughs> ups and downs and turns that you don't expect. And it's, it's, it was really interesting to follow um, the last uh, few months. And feel free to comment below um, what you've heard of the French presidential elections. What, what do they talk about of this election maybe in, in your country? And yeah, let's start a conversation. Let's start a conversation in the comments. I uh, hope it was interesting to you and uh, that you learned a, a bit more about what's going on. So thank you for watching. See you next time with another video. Bye bye. Au revoir. Salut.